And now Arizona's Attorney General, Democrat Chris Mays, joins us. Uh, well, you were there, you saw that, and it was deeply affecting to a lot of, a lot of people, men and women. Uh, you vow not to prosecute. Most of your county attorneys agree, but one in one of the counties, uh, Dennis McGrain, a Republican, he's arguing in favor of the 1864 statute. An executive order signed by Governor Katie Hobbs gives you prosecutorial authority over abortion violations. So how do you prepare to face this if your authority is challenged? And, uh, you know, how long can you, you know, keep this con till the election, uh, till it's on the ballot? Hi, Andrew, and thank for thank you for having me. And yeah, absolutely, we we intend to uh, keep the promise that I have made all along to uh, not prosecute any doctor, uh, any medical professional, any woman under this insane, egregious affront to freedom, 1864 abortion ban. Um, and I believe that we will succeed in that. And I have also promised to fight any effort by any county attorney, whether it's Dennis McGrain or anyone else in our 15 counties who tries to, to prosecute anyone under this 1864 abortion ban. So we'll see if they challenge me on that. Um, and we also have, as was mentioned, uh, you know, on your show, the fact that Arizonans are going to be able to take matters into their own hands this coming November. And I can promise you, I believe that they are resoundingly going to make it clear that uh, abortion rights should be enshrined in the Arizona Constitution. Have you decided whether you're going to try to take this directly to the Supreme Court or perhaps take constitutional questions back to state courts. Um, what is your road, do you think, legally? Yeah, that's that's exactly what we're examining right now. We have not given up. We, ha we will not give up uh, on our attempts to prevent this 1864 ban from going into effect uh, in Arizona. As you mentioned, uh, we have a period of time here over the next 60 days or so to continue to fight this in the courts. I'm also in conversations with my my fellow attorneys general, Democratic AGs across the country who have shown an outpouring of support to the state of Arizona, wanting to know how they can help women in Arizona. So we are going to be putting together a plan uh, for helping women in case this 1864 ban goes into place. And uh, we'll, we will have some announcements coming up. The vice president of the United States reached out to me to, to ask how the federal government could help Arizona. Um, so we're, we're in crisis here in Arizona. It's chaotic. Arizonans woke up uh, to this uh, decision yesterday and we're grappling with it today. And I, I just have to say, I think it's just, uh, atrocious and, and unbelievable that the former president, uh, Donald Trump, would say that, uh, you know, he thinks um, Arizona went too far. This is this is on him. This is on Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump and Donald Trump's United States Supreme Court that overturned Roe versus Wade. He celebrated this and the Supreme Court did this and sent it to states. And, and this is why Arizona is now dealing with an 1864 abortion ban. And, you know, I was so affected. I'm sure you were. She, you know, someone you know, clearly the minority whip, Eva Birch, the state senator. Um, there's so much that these politicians don't seem to know about women's health, about miscarriages, about the toxicity of caring uh, a non-viable fetus and what happened to the, you know, the woman in Texas who has now been memorialized in that campaign ad. It's so true, Andrea. They, they are so clueless. I mean, utterly and completely clueless about what women go through in pregnancies. I'm a mom. Uh, I had my child through IVF, uh, Ava Birch described what happened to her and, and uh, what, what she needed to do. Um, we're hearing also stories, 
Andrea, about doctors and nurses crying, um, you know, uh, who provide abortion services, not knowing what comes next. The emotion of this is so strong. And uh, obviously the women of our state, you know, going through processing uh, this decision and and trying to figure out what to do next but i can promise you that we uh, are going to to help women through this we're going to find solutions for them and we are going to fight like hell to make sure that this 1864 ban does not get implemented in our state and then of course in november the people of arizona are going to make sure of that through the ballot initiative thank you so much Attorney General from Arizona, uh, Chris Mays. Thank you. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.